Lieutenant Rick Pasalt is still in Iraq now. The Estrella family is back home in California, and we brought them both together here for this interview. Lieutenant Pasalt, set the scene for us. Tell us what you saw, what you heard, what your platoon was doing on that day. Well, our platoon, uh, we were a joint patrol, security patrol with Iraqi soldiers, along with Marines and Corporal Estrella. Uh, we were out. Uh, relatively close to the base and uh, talking to local nationals uh, and that's when we were engaged by the enemy. Uh, once we were engaged uh, by heavy gunfire, uh, I was able to uh, try and help Corporal Estrella uh, to safety and, and then from there uh, be able to try and close and locate the enemy. How did that gunfire start, Lieutenant, and did you see the shot that wounded Corporal Estrella? Um, uh, we didn't see the shots, but it was an ambush. Uh, we were out there trying to help the people. Um, Corporal Estrella leading the charge. Uh, he is, uh, he was the, the true hero out there trying to talk to the people, to get them on our side, and we were ambushed, and, and that's how it played out. You know, they say the difference, uh, Lieutenant, between a hero and a coward can be just a split second. What were you thinking? How close did you have to get to him to, to get him out of the way? Tell us about those last few moments uh, with your interaction with Corporal Estrella. Oh, uh, well, my last few interactions, it, it was so quick that you don't even think of that. And when Corporal Estrella, uh, when I, I knew he was injured, uh, the first thing I thought of was, I got to get him to safety. Um, that's all that was going through my head. You know, I've interviewed Marines many times who say that they never leave a, a fallen comrade on the battlefield. That's got to be true here, too, for you. It's more of a reaction. Uh, I, you don't even think about it. I was just in a bad place at a bad time and um, able, to, able to try and bring someone to safety. How well, Lieutenant, did you know Corporal Estrella? What was your relationship with him? Uh, I, I had a close personal relationship with Corporal Estrella. It, it was definitely a hard loss with a, a Marine of his caliber. Um, I, I knew him from two years ago uh, when we deployed to Afghanistan and uh, as a Lance Corporal he showed his professionalism uh, becoming the comm chief there and uh, that's when I started uh, getting to know Scratchy real well and uh, then we were lucky enough to get him again for Iraq to be our comm chief again. I used to go to him for everything. Every time I screwed up a radio he'd be there to fix it. Uh, every time I needed music to download off his computer, he was, he was there. Uh, he, he was a great Marine and a great person. Uh, it's, just, it's a shame that we have to lose the good ones, but he is a, he is a true hero out there. Lieutenant, we have uh, Corporal Estrella's family here with us, and they have something they would like to say to you directly for the first time. So Mr. and Mrs. Estrella, here now is your opportunity to talk to Lieutenant Purcell to did his best to save your son. Hello. Oh, hi, Mrs. Estrella. Hi. I just want to say thank you for being there for Michael and not leaving him by himself. And he always told me that you guys would look after him, and that's true. I greatly appreciate you, and it gives me a comfort that you were there to hold on to him. Thank you, Mrs. Estrella. Uh, I know you're extremely proud of him. I know you talked to my company commander, Captain Lynch, and expressed your condolences to the rest of our company and battalion. Uh, it, it means a lot to me that you can, that you can come and, uh, and, and thank me personally for a Marine and a, and a person that, that you raised so well. 
Well, we thank you, uh, too, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Estrella, for being here, uh, and certainly uh, Lieutenant Pasalt as well. Stay safe over there. Come home safe. And Mr. and Mrs. Estrella, we hope that you find comfort in the really tough weeks and, and years ahead, I'm sure. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you.